Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. I just opened up my game and this is what I got on the uh Well this is this is how it opened, so uh, I'm not really sure <laughs> what they mean. I, I checked, there was no update, there was nothing, so I don't know how the objective has changed. And I don't really want to restart it, so I I guess we have to restart it. Ah, uh, but guess what? Joke's on them. Because I <laughs> am still here. So, we will just, uh, I guess go ahead and scan it. I don't know if you guys have ever had that happen, but uh, it, it was a nice little surprise. And, and yeah, I don't know. Well, let's, uh, let's shut this engine off. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and try to figure out what we're doing. Go back to the KS Bandit. KRS Bandit. <clears throat> and... Where is it saying? Yeah, I mean... I don't know what that's all about. Uh, so developers, if you're watching, that's a, uh, a weird little glitch. I guess you have to complete this mission all in uh, one one go for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, I, I'm 99% sure it's not a uh, update or something like that that was changed. So uh, yeah, if you guys are doing this mission, uh, make sure you do it. Uh, do it all at once without uh, without quitting the game and uh, you should should be fine. I can't imagine them changing it uh, as you're driving, but you never know. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, well, we are kind of moving right now, so <laughs> I got ahead of myself there. Uh, so yeah, the last episode towards the end there, I almost tipped this over at least three or four times. Uh, so we definitely want to be careful heading our way back. And I think... I think I'm going to go this way. And then... Yeah. Let's just get to that point first and then we'll decide. I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go. Uh, I kind of want to go this way. I'm going to try to... And I'm going to go through every single pine tree until I can attach to one of these. There we go. I'm going to try to avoid all this water by going through the, uh, the woods here. That might help speed things up. We're down to 10 gallons of fuel, but luckily with this truck, it must be... Maybe it's a gravity-fed tank. Uh, I know I'm kind of just making that up on the fly. I don't know if these things actually exist, but trucks usually start to have issues pumping around three or four uh, gallons. What did I just get? Yep, I am now stuck on something. All right, let's oops. let's start the engine. I don't know why it's did it. I, I don't know. For some reason, my brain wants to think it's always, it just starts on uh, when you open up that context menu, that it starts on automatic, or er, attach winch, which I thought it did. Maybe they changed that. Anyways, we got to get moving. Let's figure out what we're stuck on. We're stuck on something. Um, I have absolutely no clue what we're stuck on. Let's see if we can back up. Yeah, there's no stump here. <laughs> Great. Well, let's uh, let's back up. It's an imaginary uh, log in the road or something. Yeah, that, that's that's weird. There's been a there's been a lot of weird things going on with this. Uh, with this truck, and I, I, I think it's the truck. 
I could be wrong. It could be the map. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't the map. Or that it is the map, sorry guys. Um, I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to get across this mud puddle here. Because we are... I guess we're just going to have to slowly go through it. There's not really a whole lot. We can't go around the rocks there. We can't go down into that because that sand down there is absolutely disgusting mud. So yeah, we're just going to have to uh, go slow and uh, use all the fuel that we can. But that's where I was... Oh goody. There we go. But yeah, this is where I'm talking about the, the gravity-fed uh, gas tank, where it's where the engine's able to drink every single ounce of, of gasoline you have in the tank. Because uh, we are down to two gallons, and normally this is when trucks start to sputter. And it actually looks like we are starting to. Um, actually, most, most trucks are around five gallons, uh, so we might as well refuel. We'll take it all. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. I'm gonna still try to go around. Um, supposedly there's a road here. It doesn't look like there's one. Let's turn into the, uh, the tip there. Come on, pick a different tree, thank you. I wish it was almost written in the uh, the script where if you go to pick a uh, winch point and if you, you know, you connect to it and you don't like it and you disconnect it, uh, there should be a automatic, you know, if it's within one second or two seconds, then it will automatically pick a new spot. That would be, uh, that would actually be very, very helpful in this game. Alright, let's see, can we get on... Yes. See, the, the map shows this as being dirt, and it, it's clearly not. But now, we should be through the, uh, the thick of it, so hopefully as long as we don't, uh, have a random accident and, and tip over, we should be, we should be okay. Um, I do have to keep the speed down though, especially on these, uh, these bumpy trails. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so, so far so good. Uh, now where do we go? I, th I think we have to go left. Or, sorry, right. <laughs> oh, man. I, yeah, we definitely gotta go right. And we'll just, we'll just drive around. It should be pretty straightforward. Not 100% sure if I've even been on this trail. And that would be, that would be something that would have been a nice addition, too, to this game is to somehow highlight the trails uh, at least the ones that you've been on like kind of mark them to show uh, the trails that you haven't been on so something along those lines like maybe the road changes colors uh, maybe the road is shaded black and then it turns you know I guess whatever color you call that, brown, tan, whatever, uh, it just becomes the natural color once you drive on it. And if it's if it's black or red or whatever color they decide to go with, uh, that would mean that you haven't gone on that road. So that it adds a little bit of um, uh, uh, what is what is what is that called? Uh, completion. Uh, they can actually tell you, you know, you've you've completed or you've you've been on. 83% of the roads or whatever, you know. 
that would be a nice little completionist uh, task that uh, they could have taken advantage of. But unfortunately they didn't. Uh, this doesn't look very promising. We're going to squeeze through this way though. We're going to avoid all of the uh, the stumps there because stumps are not our friends. Most of the time. Sometimes they can be. If they become a winch point, they definitely are. But uh, most of the time, you don't even see them and you get hung up on them and then it creates a nightmare. So we're going to go ahead and, and complete this mission. Um, didn't already do this part of the mission? Wait. That is so weird. That is that is really weird because you know what I'm thinking of yeah, I'm thinking of the other map. Yeah. So we gotta get a service trailer to that south. Um we've got twenty seven gallons in here. Let's spin this around. I'm gonna switch I'm going to switch to the Tega and we're going to take all the fuel out of here because I think the Tega is pretty empty. So hopefully we can make it over there in time just as it starts to rain. That's going to help get through all this mud. And there's no winch point so that's not going to help me at all. Oh, there we go. Alright. We should be able to get there without any issues. <laughs> and or slowdowns. Alright, good enough. Stop engine there. Uh, change trucks. Oh, yeah, never mind. Alright, well. Uh, you know, we might have to take the, the other vehicle. Let's refuel. Yeah. Let's, let's see if we can even attach a trailer to this one. I think the ladder gets in the way. But I could be wrong. So task. Oh, that's the one we're starting, so. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, well, I guess we'll take the Tega. We will drop this trailer off. Let's go uh, fill the Tega up with gas. Or not the Tega, I'm sorry, the KS, the KRS Bandit. I'll just call it the bandit from now on, like... Uh... Whoops. Alright, so we can, uh... Stop the engine, change trucks. Let's go ahead and refuel. Fuel the bandit. We'll fuel... There we go. We'll fill up the, uh supplies even though we probably don't need them and we'll detach the trailer and this should be a nice quick simple easy task I mean it's it's gonna be so quick where we're pretty much not even going to uh, struggle with this one although I was about to say I backed up way too far I'm, sh I'm shocked that I, that the uh, trailer actually attached Anyways, we have to go there. <laughs> and it looks a lot closer than it is. Uh, we actually have to go this way and around. So we will uh, we will go ahead and do that. And I'm not going to lie. It looks like it's mostly uh, log roads until we get to here. So oh, never mind. I guess it uh, kind of is what it is. So it looks like we have another task here. We'll uh, hopefully pick that up. I don't know if we've picked this one up yet. This might be the uh, the one that we're missing. Oh, this mud is just nasty.
There we go. Uh, yeah, let's accept that. I think that one is definitely the one that we're missing, so... Let's, let's hope this trail here is not, uh, is not just absolutely pure mud. But, uh, it, it's not looking great. It looks like we are, uh, in for a workout. And then just like that, it, uh, it firms up and we just take right off, so. Well, you know what, what do I know? It, uh... Basically, the only thing I do know is that I have not been on this trail at all. And I gotta be careful. I don't see any stumps hiding in the uh, long grass here. And the road's not super rough. I mean, there's, there's spots here and there. Nothing too dangerous. And here's a little bit of mud. And we're not too tippy because I, I feel like this truck is really tippy when it has a trailer but then again it's also the oversized cargo container that makes almost every truck tippy so it's uh you know what it's not that bad of a truck it's different it's definitely different it's got it's have I I've had to have gone down this trail yeah, because that's a watchtower. We've gotten all the watchtowers, so... Well, anyways. Let's go ahead and drop this off. There we go. Just like that. And I can actually still use this trailer. Which is, uh... Kind of weird. I could... I could... Haul this all the way back, but... I don't think I'm going to. We have a service. Oh, we, uh, I don't want to recover any of these trucks. Um, let's accept that money. For some reason, I, I didn't do that. You know what? I got to drive out of here, so I might as well. I might as well bring this trailer with us. That time, I'm, I'm too far away. Now I'm, now I'm too far away that way. What? All right. There we go. All right, so I don't... Oh, come on, camera. Does not want to look the way I want to look. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get through there, so... Sorry, guys, for the camera work. It's, um... It's the tower there that's, that's screwing everything up, so... Spin around this way, smack into a, uh, whatever the hell that is, a, uh, shed, <laughs> a utility shed there. Alright, so we need three wooden planks dropped off at the village. I'm guessing, and I'm, oh, that was, that was close. Uh, yeah, we gotta drop it off here and pick it up there, so again, not that hard of a task, but we need fuel. I don't think we have enough fuel to do this. Maybe I should leave this trailer. Does it have any repair points in it? Yeah, it does, so... Well, let's use them. And you know what? I might have enough fuel to be able to grab my flatbed. <clears throat> we do have 37 gallons on top of the truck, so... And I think we have 8 gallons left in the, in the, uh, the Tega. So possibly we uh, should be okay? It's not that far of a distance. Come on, truck. Throw that in high gear. This is all mud though. So I'm gonna kind of shoot to go around all this stuff. Alright, where do we pick up? Whoa! <laughs> we almost lost the trailer again. 
Uh, let's go ahead and detach the trailer. And we gotta go get our other trailer, our flatbed. Which I'm hoping we can fly through this mud. It's not the greatest. There we go. Yeah, this isn't the fastest truck through mud by any means. Oh, um, get in, get in that grip. Get all that stupid mud. All right. I'd, I'd say I'm sick of mud, but I know that I will never get away from mud in this game. <laughs> Not even on the frozen maps do you get rid of mud. Or get away from it, I should say. All right, so we are going to steal the rest of the fuel out of this truck because I don't think we really need it anymore. We can uh, definitely... Really? Seriously? That's how it wanted to refuel it? There we go. That's better. Alright. Normally, it takes the gas out of that vehicle. This is, uh, this, this is starting to run a little weird. That or my brain is not remembering the way things are standard. <laughs> Alright, so we're attached there. Let's skip to morning. And we gotta go up to the lumber yard. That's just a quick jaunt up this hill. We do want to be careful though. Especially coming back. <laughs> I had a little accident before. I uh, really got to keep an eye out for stumps, but I guess that works. You just just floor it through the woods and hope you don't hit something. All right, I'm pretty sure this trail isn't too shady. <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad. If I remember correctly, it is mostly dirt, so I think I think once we get to the uh, where the planks are though, that's where the mud is, so that's where we're gonna struggle just a little bit. Alright, I, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and there's a bell notification that you can hit so that you can catch all the newest uh, releases. I do. I am playing SnowRunner and uh, Farming Simulator 22. So if you're interested in both those games, please check them out. And uh, yeah, I think I'm done doing YouTube stuff. Uh, hopefully soon, uh, probably after the summer when my schedule dies down a little bit, I will probably do tryouts and screen streaming. I'm probably not going to have a lot of uh, live watchers, if any at all, but hey, you know what? We're going to try it, right? Because that's, that's, that's what it's all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. I just started singing. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Anyways. <laughs> oh, man. I am I am slowly losing my mind. Nah, you know what? It happens. As long as I know it, right? Like, that's, that's the important thing. The worst part is just when I don't know that I'm losing my mind. And I lose my mind. So, that's, that's not going to be pretty, so... We do have a trailer here. Ooh. Alright, well, we don't really need that trailer. Because we have our own. Do we need... I know this seems kind of silly. Because that's what we're doing right now. I don't think we need wooden planks for anything else. I think everything else is logging. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of logging. Radioactive fossils, yeah, that's just secured containers. Uh, that's obviously 
nuclear waste that we're transporting. And uplink. Ooh, wooden planks. We need two wooden planks for that. We gotta take those to the rift. Uh, okay. I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah. We'll, uh, be proactive. Not really sure if being proactive is the smart thing to do. Uh, turning around in here is going to be a nightmare. Like, literally an absolute nightmare. Like, I gotta kind of go this way, and then I gotta cut back this way. I gotta put the trailer that way, and then I gotta swing around this way. <laughs> Which I probably should have started turning way sooner than I did. And I can squeeze through here and we're good. Look at that, that wasn't too bad. Uh, but we, we are going to need a fuel truck, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but we have... Do we have fuel? Yeah, we do have fuel on top, so that's that's a good sign. But we are pulling a much heavier load right now than we need to. But I think it will make sense. We got to take these planes to the rift, so. And it really didn't matter if I needed more than these five planes in total, but it just happened to work out nicely that the rift needs two wooden planes and uh, Subtle Ian needs uh, three wooden planes, so we got to get these uh, materials to the village so that they can hopefully build uh, or rebuild their uh, their houses so helping out the neighborhood all right uh, yeah let's go ahead and do a two three point turn here is it no that was that was the two point turn because I pulled in backed up pulled forward is that a three point turn or a two point turn feel like I was kind of already heading in that direction. I don't know. You know what? We'll call it a three-point turn. Because you go in, you back up, and then you go out. Who knows? Alright, I think we go... crap. Yeah, we go right. This time we go right. So that's, that's good. All right. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to bring a fuel tank here. I'm pretty sure we don't have a garage in this, on this map. I know we have a trailer store. We have a fuel spot to fill up our trucks. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't have a garage. We will uh, we'll have to bring the cat back, I think, because that's that's a pretty good fuel truck, if I do say so. There, the MK wasn't too bad. It's a little a little s uh, small on the fuel tank, though. But considering it's a fuel tank itself, it really doesn't matter, does it? Alright, all we gotta do is keep heading towards that little yellow triangle, or diamond. I guess it's two triangles, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. Or at least I hope you do. Alright, let's see here. So we're uh, we're good there. Boom! That was a quick little one. 
And now we gotta get this truck all the way up to the rift. But you know what? It's not too bad. Uh, we could probably actually go back through the lumber mill. So yeah, we could have we could have gone a different route. You know, we might not need the fuel truck. The Tega is empty. Hmm. Let's 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 hold on a second. Let's stop the engine before I waste more gas. Uh, we could go ahead and accept the uplink. So we need two wooden planks and two metal beans. I think metal beans are all the way back in uh, the drowned lands. So maybe what we do is we recover the Tega. The Tega 6436. And yeah, we use that to get the steel beans. I should have looked at this because we just had to get steel beans for another. And we need the service trailer that is apparently in the rift. Yeah, it's probably buried somewhere in the rift. Um, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and uh, spin this thing around. I guess I guess we can just do that loop here. It looks like it's pure mud. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much pure mud. There's our service trailer that we brought. We don't need because we don't, uh, don't really have that much damage. So we can just keep going with it. And you know what? I might as well just refuel now. Although that gives us four. That gives us a little, little margin of error. Little, little bit of backup there. We may need the uh, the fuel truck in the rift anyways, because I'm not 100% sure where we're going with this one. All I know is this, this track's starting to get really torn up here. Yeah, I don't... There's no stumps, so we should be okay. We've pretty much already done this whole loop. High gear seemed to slow us down. I think we speed up a little bit with the low plus. I think the tires don't spin as fast so they can get more grip. Alright, we will just do the shortcut right up this hill. And we can actually just keep going straight. I think it's just to the left here. Yep. Uh, we could probably squeeze through there, but I'm pretty sure there's no stumps if we go this way. Yep. Oops. That worked out pretty good. Ah, there's a pine tree in the way. That's fine. No biggie. Telephone pole, that would have been a bigger, bigger issue. So, oh. <clears throat> Now, I want to double check. We are going here and then we got to go here to get fuel. So we're close. <laughs> we uh, should be able to make that fine. We got to get, we got to definitely get more fuel. Uh, so there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So far, this trail looks pretty solid. Yeah, because this is this is where we, uh, yeah, we turn off at the T of these uh, logs. So I'm really, I'm, I, I'm actually really glad and happy that they put these in because this area looks like it would have been an absolute mess to try to uh, fall your way through constantly. I don't mind doing it once or twice if it's a big mud puddle, but if you got to do it, you know a dozen times or so and it just becomes annoying all right so yeah we're 
<laughs> we are definitely fine on fuel. Uh, but I definitely want to get more. Now, I wish... I wish I could grab some metal beams, but... That's probably not going to happen. Because, uh, like I said, the metal beams are in uh, the drown land, so... Kind of SOL when it comes to that. Alright, let's fill up our... There we go. And we can't really do anything with the trailer. We could pull. I mean, I could disconnect real quick. can't get a uh, much more call it trailer but I can get a fuel trailer and then we can pull that behind us you know what I, I think we're just gonna we're gonna risk it it worked for us last time let's hope it worked for us this time whoops oh good just in time. There are no... Okay, good. Uh, don't we need those for a different mission? Service trailer, no. Uplink, nope. I could have sworn. Secured container, which is... Vehicle spare parts. Is that what those were? And this was all logging. Logs, 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 rolls downstairs and over in pairs, rolls over your neighbor's dog. It's great for a snack, it fits on your back, it's log, log, log. I don't know why I'm singing today, guys. I'm not a very good singer at all. Um, but yeah, if you can name that, name where that song came from, you'll win uh, 10 bonus points. Oh yeah, I totally almost forgot. I think these are service parts, aren't they? Uh, I get distracted by my singing. Uh, yeah, those are service spare parts, and we need vehicle spare parts, correct? I know I just looked at this. Which one was it? it was one of these ones, wasn't it? No, I know where it was. Nope, it was this one. Nope. Nope. Okay, I just, I suck at this game now. Those are the radioactive, yeah, vehicles for VAR. Okay, whatever. Let's get going. Uh, maybe I'll grab myself an extra three gallons of fuel. Is it worth it? No, it's not. Let's just go. Let's get this done and over with. Ooh. This is really, uh, really boggy through here now. Definitely did not take us this... Uh, it was not this hard coming in. There we go. Alright, I gotta remember how to get up there. Uh, did we go through? I'm gonna take a left. I, I, I want to go the shortest route possible. And this looks like it should be it. Thank, thank you, tower. I, it, I don't understand why the camera glitches when it gets around these towers. There's clearly some type of... Uh, why? What am I getting hung up on? There's absolutely nothing here to be hung up on. That little stump? Or is it that little stump? No, that looks like a log. Ugh. Man, the weird... The weird things you get hung up with on uh, this Russian map. I don't know if they're, they're glitching or if it is supposed to catch you up. It, it, it does kind of get a little annoying, though. If maybe if they made it more obvious, it wouldn't be such a surprise that all of a sudden you, you get hung up on something. Alright, 
We're gonna attempt to go for the side. There is uh, pretty much nothing to catch on to. Or to, uh, to, to winch on to. We are just gonna have to go slow and steady. Do we gotta go up that mountain? I don't think we do. I think we just keep following this road. Yeah, we just we follow this road for a while. I don't know why my marker's way over there, but we stay to the left. Is high gear better? If we can pick up some momentum, it would be better. <clears throat> and we should get it here, so. Although, when your downhill is pure mud, there's not really a whole lot you can do. I think we're through the mess of it. Now I forgot where <laughs> where we go from here, so uh best route is through here. And then we'll be in the rift, so I know concrete slabs are what oh no, no, we gotta go left still. Concrete slab is what or are what? Concrete slabs are what are. Concrete slabs are what are in. Why does that seem so weird to say? Anyways, concrete slabs are in the quarry. So we don't need to go in there, but we will have to definitely go over to the drown lands. I know I keep saying it. I don't know why. I think I'm reassuring myself that they're that's where they are. <laughs> I'm hoping they're not. Um, and that other map. Uh, actually, let's look right now. Uh, Drown lands. Oh, this is weird. Uh, do 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 do. Where are the vehicle spare parts? Okay, vehicle spare parts and metal beams are all right here, so we're going to have to pay attention to that. I think we need two metal beams. And then I don't remember how many vehicle spare parts we have, so we may have to do a two tandem truck thing going on to try to get that done. And yeah, I don't, I do not remember this hill being this muddy. Is it this truck? Is this truck just not very good in the mud? I mean, with the tires it has, it should be amazing in the mud. It really should be amazing, but eh, anyways. A nice, nice quiet uphill climb. Now where do I go? <laughs> I go for here. Oh, I stalled it. Well, not technically. I did shift it. Before we stalled, so... Anytime that pops up, I just assume I stalled it. <laughs> Which isn't really true. You just start to stall it. Alright. So this is where we have to do a nice little three point turn. That's point one, that's point two, and point three is here. <laughs> Does point three really count if you don't have to back up again? And yeah, the truck stuttered a little bit. 
but I think we'll make it. Hey, we made it. So yeah, technically I could have went back and did. I could have went back and did the whatchamacallit. Where'd my mission go? That is that is so annoying when that happens. Activate. Okay, so we gotta get there, so it's not too far away. And there is a fuel station before we get there, so that that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll grab the Tega and we will uh, grab the metal beams and then the vehicle spare parts because we need vehicle spare parts for another mission. And then we're down to just logging. And I still have not. <laughs> I still have not purchased the, uh, the mammoth. No, the behemoth? No. What? What? I forgot the name of it. I have not purchased that one truck. The Mastodon. That's the word. And I really want to do it. I don't know if it's the best truck in the game. Um, I'm sure it has its strengths and its weaknesses, just like every other truck. It probably has like a little itty bitty tiny gas station or something. Or a uh, gas tank. I don't know why I said gas station. Maybe because I'm pulling up to one. Um, but even in here, like, look at this mud. Why am I struggling so much in this this truck? It's gotta be the tires. Um, so let's go ahead and fill that up. And let's take off. This, I think, is the easiest river cross. I, I, I'll call it a river crossing. It's more of a uh, soggy river bottom. But I think this is the easiest one to cross, so... Now that uh, we're in here, it's pretty much straight forward. Is there another one? Oh, there is another one. Okay, I misspoke. Uh, let's see... If I remember correctly, it was pretty easy to just climb up that face. That looks awfully steep. I don't know why I'm going this way. I just, you know what? Let's just do it. If we're smart about it, we should be okay. I, I remember this hill not being very wooded, so we should be able to fit through all these uh, openings. I'm gonna just go into low class. I don't know why I went that way. Oh, you know what? Back up, back up. This way was so much better. Oops, not that way. All right, let me let me let me try to fix this. There we go. Yeah, like look, nice straight shot up the hill. We're, we're already up at the top. We're, we're good. We've got this. And we will just go... I mean, it's acting like it's super steep. It doesn't look that steep. We will just mow through this person's garden. Looks like they have poppy seeds or something growing here. Oh look! And it's a fuel station. How quaint. That's actually kind of nice. Like this with. All right, so we've got that stage complete. We need to pick up two metal beams. So we actually need to go to the global map. Let's stop this engine. Let's go to the global map here. Let's go into, where was it? The quarry. Let's grab the Tega. I'm going to recover it. I don't know what map it's going to go to, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that's going to go to Zimikorsk. 
which is not where I want to go, but we can recover this, or uh, re not recover it, we can uh, retain it, we can jump to the dr drowned lands, I almost said dried lands, we can jump to that garage, and then we can unretain that truck. Yeah, we could purchase a new truck. I mean, the Azov Heavy, right? Active, of course. I gotta go to Russia again. I'm in Russia. Um... Yeah, I'm not. Oh, those are some big spare wheels. Tires. That's what I wanted to look at. Well, they do have those tires. Those tires are probably still the best tires. And they've got some chain tires, so. Do we? Do we not? Do we want to? Let's see what the frame add is on. Okay, so it's got every single frame add on. It's a long truck. And it's 10 wheels. Look at the size of that fuel tanker thingy, my bobber. Look at the size of this. This can. Ooh. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Can it still pull a trailer behind it? Okay, you know what? We're gonna try it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's purchase this thing. And we're gonna purchase and deploy. So it's almost $90,000. I think we can handle it. We still have over a half a million. Uh, I've never actually tried it. It looks awfully low to the ground though, doesn't it? Like, where's my 93,800? Yeah, it looks really low to the ground. Um, let's go into storage. Let's deploy this. I'm going to sell it. Oh, wait, I got to retain it and then sell it. Yes. Okay, I got my money back, so let's go. Uh, we can deploy this one as well. All right, let's let's try this as off. Like, look at it. It's such. Oh, the ground clearance is crap. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just why it doesn't do too well. Anyways, let's uh, go to customize. We'll slap. Uh, I guess we'll slap the biggest engine in it. It's got 93 gallons, so it's pretty. Pretty chunky. We can actually sell that one for twenty thousand. We can sell two of those for another eleven thousand four hundred. Uh, gearbox, event special, special or event special. Special gearbox tuned for optimal high and low gear. You know what? Let's leave that suspension the way it is. Active suspension. I don't really know what that means. It doesn't, we can't put bigger tires on it. So I know we can raise and lower it. So maybe that's what it is. That's what the active suspension's for. Uh, advanced twin heavy. We're going to spend more money in upgrades than we do in actual parts. And I think what we're going to do, there's the long flatbed or the long sideboard. I think that's what we're going to do. Just, it suits the truck better, right? Now. Oh, this thing just looks so low. Like, it just looks so low to the ground. Alright, I'm not going to make the mistake that I always make. Yeah. I cannot. I though, or I though, 
Uh, I can pull another trailer. So. We can park this thing up here. Let's go ahead and go back into the garage. Uh, yeah, we'll customize this. We will just do... I believe this is two cargo spots, so one long. How much do we need? Oh, wasn't that one, wasn't... That's the two metal beams, so that's four spots that we need. Loud and clear are two... Yeah, why don't we do that? We will, uh... Customize, we will put the, which one looks better? I still like that better. That to me looks better. Not always though. Sometimes the other one looks for the other truck. So, but yeah, we could just bring these two trucks. Um, that should do it, right? Let me. Oh, it's only three spots. That's not cool. So I could do one metal beam, one con or one vehicle spare part. The other one is one metal beam, and that's it. So, yeah, let's switch to the Chega. Let's grab just a cheap little pull behind. That one right there. Okay, now we're good. We've got everything we need. Uh, so change trucks. Let's go ahead and start the engine. We'll attach the winch. Pull that in just a little bit. That's probably good there. And we will advance to morning. <laughs> and we will get going all the way over to The warehouse. That. I almost went to the wrong spot. Although, does the factory... Nope, oh, that's exactly what we need. Okay, so we're that's, that's where we're going. Let's mark it. I will screw this up. And, uh, yeah, we will hopefully get there and then call it an episode. The Tega is a much faster truck, I can tell you that much already. How's the Azov? Does it do well in mud? Did I change? I didn't change the tires on this. Let's recover it. Ugh. Uh, tires. I'm gonna put these on. They, they seem to do the best for mud. Or in mud. So hopefully that, uh... Hopefully that works, and we can actually sneak out of this. This thing's so long that it feels like it's pivoting in the middle. All right, let's get this. Let's get this whole uh, convoy over to the. Uh, the warehouse. And in uh, good old Tega fashion, or Tega, these as off fashion, it's pretty fuel efficient. So I'm glad I went with the biggest engine. That gives us the most power. Ooh, I don't have, yeah, I don't have low plus. But that's okay. I don't really use it in the, uh, the Azov. But I wonder if I go low plus, low minus, if I go down to three gears? That seems, uh, a little extreme. Yeah, so it is definitely not as fast as the tape. But that's alright. It's the... Uh, I just think the ground clearance is going to be absolute garbage. But hopefully the Tega 
can uh, assist with pulling it out if we end up uh, getting stuck because of it. There's really no need for uh, lights anymore. <laughs> I really hope the next um, the next region doesn't have fog like this. I don't know what it is, but it just makes me feel like I have dirty contacts in or something. Like I, I used to have contacts and glasses, so any type of fog like this or, or cloudiness makes it feel like I have dirty lenses, and that was that was always one of my biggest pet peeves. In fact, my wife's sunglasses, she has fingerprints all over them. She has, I, I don't know what it is, makeup or lotion or something. Uh, it's just, I, I look at them, just looking at them on her drives me nuts. I want to take them off and clean them. Like, it's just, it's one of those things. I don't know how she does it. And then, miraculously, I'll uh, I'll take them from her. I'll clean them, and she'll put them on. She's like, "Oh my God, this is like brand new. This is so amazing." I'm like, "Yeah, you just have to clean them every once in a while. It's the easiest thing to do. You just take them off, you huff on them, you breathe on them, get some steam on them, and you use your shirt and you clean them off. It's it's that simple." All right, so I'm uh, I'm getting a little nervous though about the uh, the mud. The ground clearance is just gonna be absolutely brutal. <laughs> I can just sense it. And this is our first taste of off road, so. But you know what? We're using a new truck. It's new truck day. We have a little bit of overkill, I guess. Do I need how many? How many? Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do one steel in here and one uh, spare part. I want to balance out the load a little bit. All right, so we have to go this way. So far the truck's not bad. Haven't really had very, you know, undulating terrain. <laughs> so I can't really say if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Alright, let's go ahead and detach them. Metal beam, vehicle spare parts. Let's spin this around. And this, we, we are just setting up for, oops, oh wow, good bumper though on it. Like I hit pretty hard, usually that causes damage. <clears throat> Alright, let's spin this around. We're going to stop it right about here. We are going to change trucks, change trucks, change, there it is. We are going to throw... Uh, I think the metal beam. Yeah, let's put more weight in the truck. And then... In the trailer, we will do two spare parts. I think that's what we need. Let's just double check here. Okay, two vehicle spare parts. Oh, wow. I have one extra vehicle spare part. Mmm, crap. Do I... Oh, uh, do I get rid of the one in the trailer or do I get rid of the one in the back of the truck? You know what? I think we'll do... the back of the trailer. We'll keep the weight on the wheels of the truck. 
that should help uh, give us some grip. Alright, we're just going to stop right here because, well, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We uh, got quite a bit done today. Wasn't too bad. No real big errors, no big issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.